All right, you guys, we're coming to you live right now from the heart of San Francisco at Union Square. And it's weird because it was a little sunny earlier, but it just started pouring a little rain. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually go out. I I'm going to go out. Fuck it. But anyways, today we have a special treat for you guys, courtesy of the folks over at FPP, the Film Photography Project. They've given us an exclusive role of D-Rev Pan 400. Everybody from the Film Pide uh, Pidea event actually got a role of this stuff. So it's really dope. And I was speaking to Michael Rosso about the film and I told him I wanted to shoot a video. And he told me this film right here was actually an aerial surveillance film. So this was shot in airplanes and it has a little green backing to it. And I asked him, I said, okay, why does this film have a green backing? And essentially he said that D-Rev in Ukrainian stands for tree. So with that being said, you know, you can kind of make out the connection between aerial surveillance with the green backing and tree. So it all kind of mixes and mingles together. But today I'm going to test it out for street photography and I'm going to try to push it to the limit and see what it can do. I'm going to develop it at home and scan it myself as well. So really quick, let me give you guys a tour of the D-Rev Pan 400 canister here. On the front it says D-Rev Pan 400, FPP of course. Um, and it says black and white film in 36 exposures process black and white. So it's a fairly thin film as well. Uh, but Mike told me that, you know, it scans very flat. So I'm really interested to see what this does. What's up, Pidge? But anyways, folks, here we go. We got the D-Rev Pan 400. We got the Leica M2, Voigtlander 35mm 2.5 color scope bar, and the GoPro strapped on top. We're going to go down to Chinatown. We're also going to hit this little area just a little bit later uh, to test out the D-Rev Pan 400. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your drop from the top. At, uh, you know what, I used to work at Six Flags. All right, so we're switched over to the GoPro now. I actually have my ear pods in, just one ear. Um, I generally like to hear everything that goes on in the streets just because it'll allow me to kind of feel out the street a little bit more. But I'm listening to a little bit of blues and testing out a little theory of, you know, listening to music and also shooting. I'm a big fan of listening to music, but I've never done it while shooting, so it's going to be a little bit of an experiment today. Dude, awesome. How's it going?
All right, did anybody notice the green layer that came off in the pre-wash of that development process? Like, come on now, that was pretty dope. It was like the Hulk taking a piss. Why did I say that? Anyways, I feel like I underexposed a lot of those images. I mean, either that or it just has very deep blacks. And I'm usually not a big fan of crushed blacks, but for some reason in this scenario, I feel like it kind of worked. Especially in this photo right here of the dude sitting down, kind of putting his hands over his head. I don't know how the heck the background kind of got blacked out, but it did and it add, you know, it kind of gave this like staged effect to the image. Uh, I kind of liked it, honestly. That's personally my favorite photo from the shoot. But seriously though, I think D-Rev Pan 400 is a really dope film. It has a lot of great potential. Uh, but before I give you guys my full entire thought out video and review on the film, I'm gonna pick up a couple more rolls and shoot through it. Maybe shoot the film through a camera that actually has an onboard meter, just so I'm metering correctly. Cause I honestly, like I said, I feel like I underexposed a lot of those images, which may have resulted in those deep blacks. So. We'll see, stay tuned. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking up a couple of these rolls, it's actually gonna be releasing on March 15th. So that's two days from the date this video was uploaded. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'm gonna leave a description below to the FPP store, which is where you can purchase this film. Uh, so yeah, you guys got a quick exclusive early look at the D-Rev Pan 400 from FPP. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I wanna hear you guys' thoughts on what you guys think about this film. Comment down below what you think. Uh, and as always, stay tuned, so hit that subscribe button. We got new videos every Tuesday uh, and a lot more coming. So as always, Minolta gang. <laughs>